Regina here. Happy Sunday to you all. Hope you're having a great day and staying cool. And guess what I did today? Finally, after thinking about it for years, and I even had the supplies to do it, just enough. I ran out. Now I've got to re-up my supplies. But I never liked Rosalie's body. She's Ashton Drake, and she is one of the photo contest winners. Beautiful, beautiful baby. Gorgeous face. But I never liked her body. And this is what I did today, finally. I'm so excited. This was her old body. And it was very square and short. And then the, the legs were sewn like this. And, uh, what can I tell you? Well, there's, she's lightly weighted. There's, um, some, like, I don't know, some kind of beads in here. They're not glass, but kind of like a bean bag body, and it's sewn into the body. And so I can't, I mean, I didn't take those out. But also, the limbs, they had the zip ties, of course, but they also sewed the uh, limbs to the body so they're very well made you know for kids that way their legs and arms aren't going to pop off or whatever so very well made dolls and her head was already nicely weighted and they had covered the bottom with some cardboard so I didn't mess with that because I thought no she's I like that she's really good um this body, though, it's a 16-inch, three-quarter jointed body, so she'll have the nice movements. Uh, but the Bountiful Baby had strings in here, and I prefer zip ties, so I had to take the strings out. But the because the strings are so small, it was a little bit hard around the seam area to get the zip ties all the way through so that was a struggle and the only thing because this is so small I couldn't hide the uh, the zip tie there where it attaches but that's okay it's just it's just for me anyway but I weighted her with the glass beads and the soft poly fill like I normally do and so I'm very happy with how she turned out uh, these bodies of course have the kind of egg shaped or whatever but yeah I'm really happy because she looks more proportioned to me instead of that short body her legs were so short and her little arms were just like you couldn't even do anything with them they were just like I don't know so I'm really happy with that I'm glad I finally did it so this is the first time dressing her because I just did this so let's dress her I have these little tiny diapers and she's still still short so I'm sure even the preemies will be long on her for clothing but that's okay because she's much better I lo love the way that she feels and she's weighted and everything so yeah I've, I used up all of almost all of my beads and I still have a few zip ties, but not many. And what else? Some other things I used that, um, some other things I need. So we'll have to re-up those things because I don't have enough to, if I finish a reborn, don't have enough to, to do that. Yes, aren't you a pretty baby? You sure are. And I, I tried to leave her head a little bit loose so I could turn her head. I almost got it too tight. Once it's tight, it's like, oh, can't do much about it. So I try to be very careful. But I thought I would try this little preemie onesie with owls, and it's purple. And see how that looks. Her eyes are kind of purple, actually. I didn't brush her hair or anything. So I'll have to kind of fix up her hair a little bit. But I'm glad I finally did this. I looked on the Ashton Drake website to make sure of her size. And she's 16 inches. 
then I looked on Bountiful Baby for a body, and I thought, I think I already have one. So sure enough, I had one of my supplies. I probably had wanted to do this for a long time. I don't even remember how long that I had it, but I'm glad I did. And my, the joints in my hands are so sore now from trying to get the zip ties out and and all that and or the the string out and the zip ties in get them weaved in there yeah so and is I worked partly in the house and partly in the garage because I always go in the garage for using the glass beads I don't want those getting anywhere so it is very hot <laughs> It's probably 115 today. I have a fan on in there, but it's still hot. But at least I got to go in and out. So I didn't make myself sick or anything. <laughs> yeah. So that was my first time ever taking apart an Ashton Drake doll. Or, or any of my factory-made dolls, for that matter. Hey, yeah, this fits her around the neck really nice. And it's not too baggy. It's pretty good. I like that. Aw. She's going to be a lot more fun to, to handle. Yeah, I just... I thought, well, you know what? I should be okay doing this. And I just know I don't like that body. So I thought I'll give it a try. <laughs> so I'm pleased with how it turned out. Oh. So what have you all been up to this weekend? This weekend came nice and quickly. Because of the holiday. Last week. Hey, I think these are going to work out good, too. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hello there. <laughs> yeah. Aw. Yeah. This is much better. Yeah, maybe I will interact with her more. There we go. Hmm. So cute. And I have these little socks, but I'm thinking I might leave her feet out because it's so warm today and let me get a little spray bottle and give her just a quick a quickie hair deal here yeah it's um, a little dry her hair in fact I probably should use that fork that's what I should do we should do that. Let me get that real quick. Yeah, here we go. So this took up all my time. I wanted to do a tea party video, but this took up my time and energy. So we'll have to get to that another day. She has kind of wavy hair. Yeah, that looks better. There we go. Mm-hmm, that's better, huh? Yeah. Anyway, that's pretty good. And I'll put a little headband on her, too. I have this one here, which has two colors of purple. It looks like it's already safety pinned for a small baby. Then I have a bright one. And then I have this one, a little princess one, that I got where my sister used to work. A lady makes these. That's cute. A little fancy, though, for this outfit. So maybe I'll use this one. Yeah, that one's better. But I probably should let her hair dry first, because otherwise it's going to 
really stick like that, huh? <laughs> yes, you're a pretty girl, Rosalie. You sure are. Yeah. So yesterday, we finally got out and went to Hobby Lobby. I hadn't been there in forever. And it was so nice. And it wasn't busy because it's too hot and nobody wants to go out. <laughs> and so they had the sales, you know, 66% off on things. And I found this teapot. I'll show you. This teapot here so it's a little teapot put your hot water and teas in there and then it has a cup and saucer I thought this would be well I'm going to use it regularly but I thought this would be really cute for the tea party this could be mine and the girls have a holly hobby one so then we can use that one too so I have to quit talking about that and do it, right? <laughs> oh, goodness. So I think that's going to be it for today. I just wanted to do a quick video and show you little Rosalie. Little Rosalie. Yeah. She looks pretty good. She looks pretty good. Can you sit up? Let's see if you can sit up nicely. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. That worked out good. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> well, you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And if you're working tomorrow, have a good day at work. And we gotta get back to work, don't we? <laughs> okay, I love you all. Thanks for stopping by. And see you soon. Bye. Oh, and one more thing. I totally forgot this outfit came with a hat. <laughs> and my friend, because I had sent her one, she found her hat and put it on her Elizabeth doll. <laughs> so I had to find mine. It was in with the hats. It wasn't with the dress. So I totally forgot all about it. But this fits her really well. Yeah, she's got a nice large head, so... Fits her good. Yeah, she's all ready. You ready to go somewhere? Ready to go somewhere? Want to go to the beach? <laughs> okay, that's it. You guys have a great evening.